Hi, my name is Uldis. Usually I'm responsible for all kinds of LT and 5G projects here at Microtik. But I'm also involved in several exciting side projects, like today's topic, the GDN. So what does GDN stand for? Genomic Data Network. A high capacity data network for scientists to help battle cancer and combat the COVID-19 crisis. It all started with an initiative to establish a fast, modern connection between universities and research facilities in Riga to accelerate the research data transfer, such as genome data. It can take a lot of space, from 100 gigabytes to 400 gigabytes, or even more. Transferring such amounts daily over standard internet connection takes way too much time. The solution before GDN, they store the data in external hard drives and drove it across the city in a car, from one institution to another. <laughs> such legacy transportation was unacceptable. So Marketic organized a meeting between all the parties to find better solution. The idea is pretty simple. There's a lot of data in one place. Scientists, top researchers in another. And there are also extremely powerful computers that have some calculations to do in other locations. Combined, these three forces can solve all kinds of medical problems and come up with better, more effective treatments for patients. So in early 2020, a few meetings in, during the COVID-19 pandemic, we established cooperation with LMT, the leading mobile operator in Latvia. They gave access to their dark fiber connections all across Riga. Few more months, and now we could finally launch the first core connection between the sequencing center, high performance compute center, and few universities and research facilities. This core connection became the backbone of GDN. A working group was established to manage the government's and future expansion of GDN. It involved multiple parties, LMT, universities, government officials, HPC center, sequencing center, and of course, your truly microtic. And that's one of the most brilliant things about the project. Cooperation of multiple fields, the state, the private or business sector, and the academia, and the scientists. That's how you get things done. Now, back to the technical stuff. The first core connection capacity was using 10 gigabit speeds by utilizing CRS317 switches and CCR2004 routers and CVDM 10 gigabit modules for the dark fiber connections. After the upgrade, single genome data transfer from one institution to another only took a few minutes. From multiple hours of driving across the city with external hard drive to just few clicks, now that's what I call progress. After this success, we received a proposal to help upgrade the Latvian Academic Network connection to a pan-European research data network, GIANT, as they call it. From 10 gigabits to 100 gigabits. That was the most timely request, as we were already working on 100 gigabit devices. Latvian GIANT connection became the first use case where Microtik installed the blazing fast CRS504 switch, long before it was even released to public. It happened in April 2021. Not only did we upgrade the core GIANT connection to 100 gigabits here, we also upgraded the internal connection between the GIANT entry points and the high compute center across the river. Now the HPC can access the GIANT services via ultra-fast 100 gigabit connection, and that means more options for new cooperation with more researchers and scientists in other countries. Cooperation really is the key to the future. And that accelerated the development of more 100 gig solutions Seeing potential use cases in real life inspires the whole team. We then started working on CRS518 switch to upgrade those 10 gigabit connections of Latvian academic network to 100 gig without disturbing the current connectivity. How? We help of our CVDM technology that allowed adding additional 4 times 25 gigabit connection between the institutions. And we have no plans to stop. More 100 gigabit solutions are coming soon. But that's topic for another video. Stay tuned.